when I was teaching the traditional method, I'll have students coming in and they didn't know how to multiply, they didn't know how to add and subtract. Rarely would those students be able to stay throughout the semester because after the thir third, no, even after the second week, everyone else is already in division, they're still stuck. And the teacher can't stop the class and say, okay, let's continue with multiplication because you have a syllabus to stick to. You have to continue teaching. And so those students will be frustrated and so they drop the class. At the same time, you had students who, you know, the first couple of weeks, they'll be extremely bored because they already know all of that. And so unfortunately what would happen is eventually you would get to a point in, in the content that they don't know that. But because they have been zoning out for weeks, you know, they don't get that, okay, now I actually have to start paying attention. And so, yes, they should have been able to do that, but they still are not very successful because, you know, they were used to not paying attention. In contrast, the experience of the new personalized learning math courses at the college are significantly different for the faculty as well as the students. In the new model, the students work self-paced in the computer lab with the teacher acting as a floating coach. Separate classes are held every week in which the teacher helps the students review their own progress, evaluate their learning strategies for the previous week, and plan their strategies for the next week. Traditionally, I was in charge of the class. I determined what content I was going mm -hmm. to teach today. But when I walk into the lab, even if I know the students that I'm looking for and what problems they may have, I may just be teaching a different kind of content that day. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching addition, I'm teaching multiplication, I'm teaching fraction, I'm teaching graphing, I'm teaching on a one-to-one -one need as per the student. So my role is no longer, I'm no longer in control, actually. Mm -hmm. The students are. I walk into my classroom already knowing mm -hmm. who my students are, where they are, and what skills they're gonna need today. Mm -hmm. So perhaps in looking at my dashboard last night or my data, I may have seen that student A needs help with fractions. Mm -hmm. So I do know that today, this is where I'm going to begin my day. And from that, I walk, I move around the lab, look at what they're doing. When that red shows up on the screen, I know a student is in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I move over. Some days I look at just coaching because the student may just be having a very, very bad day. And it's not academic. It's non-academic, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and I have to be there as a coach and as a support and remind him that the purpose here, life happens, but the purpose here is about getting that work done, getting the math done. Mm -hmm. From that class, I'm observing because I am the facilitator of the class. I'm no longer the instructor or the professor. I mm -hmm. facilitate each and every student's learning. Mm -hmm. And so I may pick up on a student not using the right strategies, and so in the second portion of the class, which is what we call our SRL, okay. our self-regulated learning class, where we coach our students, that becomes the center of the work that I wanted to do. Most of the students we talk to seem to have internalized the lessons of self-regulated learning and feel empowered to learn. It's pretty good because like, for example, say I'm doing a topic and I'm slower and Vivian's faster than I am. Mm -hmm. I could work by my own pace and then it's a professor there that I could raise my hand, excuse me, I don't understand this, could you help me with it? Because everybody learns at their own pace. Um, yeah, we are typically just sitting down on the computer screen, but we're sitting next to our um, classmates, so if there's a problem on it, I could ask my classmate. Like, that's, the, that's actually the best thing about Alex, is that there's an explain button right there. Like, as many times as you want, you can hit it. You can ask a friend, you could call the professor, you could ask the um, sub-professor, you could even watch a video. Like, it's whatever you want. <laughs> if you don't get it at that point, then it's, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay.